chemical kinetics tells you about the rate of reaction the factors affecting the rate of reaction the order of reaction now the first thing is the rate of reaction can never be negative for example for the reaction n2 plus 3h2 giving you 2 nh3 if rate with respect to ammonia is plus 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 molar per, moles per liter per second then rate with respect to nitrogen will be dear students in order to equalize the reaction rate divide them by their stoichiometric coefficients so we can write upon dt is equal to half into d ammonia upon dt now the value of rate with respect to ammonia he has given to you so we can write the rate with respect to nitrogen will be equal to that of half of the rate of reaction with respect to ammonia minus sign is not to be taken into consideration this only tells you that the concentration is decreasing so the correct answer will be half into 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 which is 7 into 10 to the power minus 6 once again dear students keep it in mind that minus is not to be written before theoretical value that represents only the symbolic because rate is final minus initial final can never be more than initial so we put a minus sign so that the rate comes out to be negative now the order of reaction is the powers to which the concentration term must be raised in order to determine the reaction rate dear students order of reaction can be zero first second third these order can be predicted from half life period they can also be predicted from the graph between the concentration versus time they can also be predicted by Oswald dilution law let us take another question if the graph between log of t half versus log of concentration is as shown below then the order of reaction is you see t1 upon t2 is equal to c1 upon c2 raised to power 1 minus n where n is the order of reaction so t1 half life period is directly proportional to concentration raised to power 1 minus n taking log t half is equal to k in plus 1 minus n into log c when you are plotting a graph between log of concentration versus log of uh, half life period the graph comes out to be a straight line and tangent 